University of Worcester Warriors women, backed by a local business, ready to take a seat at the table for the future of the Premier 15s. And, uh, well, after last week's loss away to Saracens, Joe Yap making six changes to the University of Worcester Warriors lineup including a few reshuffles. Up front, Akina Gondwe is a welcome return from injury, which sees Carmen Tremelling switching sides next to co-captain and Scottish international Lana Skeldon. Sherma joins John in the second row with Buckland Hurry out, Cara Brinkup moving to seven. As for Loughborough Lightning, well, Rhys Edwards makes five changes from their 41-point to seven win against DMP last week. Two internationals are back into the pack in the shape of Scotland's Emma Wassell and England's Sarah Hunter. Rachel Malcolm, captain from the back row. At nine, it's the Jess variety of Weaver who starts with Sister Lucy on the bench this week. And outside Helen Nelson at fly half, no Emma Hardy. So Fran Goldthorpe comes in to 12 with Matai Tonga shifting to 13. Not on the ball. It wasn't quite going to work for Bryony Field. Goldthorpe was there, but now Nelson. Rowley looking to give the stop and go, and then give the pass. It's brilliant, <coughs> attracting two defenders and allowing room for Westcombe Evans. Loughborough Lightning on the board and vindication of the decision to go into the corner. Cabea lurking. Just suddenly gets down and engages in that metre and a half before the contact. Nelson looking for the switch with Rowley, step to the left, Chloe Rowley, oh it's lovely, balletic from the Scottish fullback and Loughborough Lightning get their second try of the day. Now they might come to the right again, John again with the carry, brought down by Matai Tonga. Advantage. Now penalty advantage and he must come back through the gate. Give it's, him ten. it's going to be an Give immediate ten. take from Mattinson and it is going to be quick thinking and it is going to lead to the try. Mattinson with a quick tap, Kershaw on the shoulder. Make, make sure we give University of Worcester Warriors hit back. Just make sure we're moving, OK? Same for you, so same for them. You can, obviously, we know Loughborough's line-out has been pretty dominant, and it, to be honest, it's a, it's a good start for them. You know, they're working at a much higher line-out accuracy um, than Loughborough. Than Worcester, sorry, 84% this season compared to 73 of Worcester. Well, it's certainly looking to be pretty effective now yeah. as they get ever closer to the line and it's Bryony Field who will finish it off. Unchanged front row for Loughborough Lightning and it's unchanged as far as Field is concerned. A seventh try of the season. And quite a few of them have looked like that. They've earned their right to be Hands knocking up. on the Lightning door. And now a penalty advantage as well. Hands up. They look to play it. Can they step through and score? Yes, they can. Score from Paige Farris. Got a brace against Saracens last week. But that second try for Worcester Warriors this afternoon is going to really shape how the final quarter looks. Execution of the line-out to begin with through Brinkat is exactly what's required. Maul is called, there's a breakaway, but they haven't got the ball. It's Karis Phillips who has stopped just a metre short. Then the quick pick and go, and Worcester Warriors have the try. It's flow along with the score. Brilliant stuff from the home side. Nearly opened up for the Canadian. Not the quickest ball. They've gone for the little chip over the top. Now, was anybody else on the same page? Oh, it might be Vicky Laughlin who is! What a finish! Celebrations tell you everything about what that means for Worcester Warriors. Thanks, Alan. Premier 15th player of the match. And we will... Billet Lauren Smith to have a word with the centre after the match and look when it's going your way it's going your way real physicality and belief and the tap of the ball into touch will round off the game and the celebrations get underway at six ways